I spoke to John about the video on YouTube. John had found a British Pathway News video showing the jig of a Lancaster wing. Not sure, but if I show the photo, I might be infringing copyright rules. So I have posted the link below for the YouTube video. You want to be in around 4 minutes 18 seconds into the video. The shot of the jig is only about 5 to 8 seconds long. Yeah, I found a bit of film footage of um, it's Pathé News. And yeah. basically when um, John Nettleton, who won the VC on, on the Orsberg grade, was going round the Arbro factory. And on one of the scenes, it pans along and there's three wing jigs, the wings in various states of um, assembly on them. And the middle one sort of freeze framed it and took Oh, took a picture of it and the middle one is all it's got it, it, it's got a flat bed you can either have a flat bed or you can have stools like we have yeah and the former 22 which is the, the root end yeah. where it joins to the center section there, there's a there's an upright and that rib um five which is the uh, winter then it's got an upright and that's all there is it's just a bed and two uprights and what they do is they they put the rear spar on the bed fully assembled that, that must be done in a jig fully assembled and then they put uh, rib 5 in rib 22 in and they put all the other ribs in and the main spar is assembled on a jig with the leading edge on it because in the film, the wings there, it's got no skins on it, it's got no um, stringers on it, mm -hmm. but it's got the leading edge on it. So that must be made in a jig, because the leading edge is completely flush riveted. Yes, yeah. Uh, for, for smoothness of the airflow, basically. Yeah. On, on the wing, the top skins are flush riveted, because you, you, can, you can react them from the other side. But the bottom surface, they're all pot riveted. Yeah. Because you, you can't can't get to them. Yeah. So so to 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 rivet that leading edge, you can't put it on after the main spar's been no, you put can't on get, because yeah. you, you, there's just no access to react the rivets. Yeah. So it must it must be done on the floor, and the whole thing is then put onto the, the wing. Yeah. So that's the way you're going to do it now. That's the way we want to do it, because mm. at the minute, the way, the way we've got our jig was okay for dismantling it. Yeah. But for putting it together, it, it's a bit awkward. Because if, if we make the main spar up and stick it onto the jig, we can't get the ribs in. Because it'd be in the way. It would have to be lifted up slightly so we can get the ribs in and then lower it back onto it. Mm -hmm. Which is not ideal. Fiddly job, basically. isn't it? And it's yeah. always changing the position yeah. slightly. But if, if, if we have it here, Assembled here, the whole thing, yeah. it, can, it can be picked up. We, we get rid of all that structure here at the top. It can be pick, picked up. We have the, the, the rear spar on there. We have all, all, all the ribs on it. We have some stringers on it to give it stability. And, and the whole thing can be actually lifted up and, and load onto it and then bolted onto it. Yeah, because it is bolted, isn't it? That's it. That's yeah. all it is, it's bolted. Yeah. The only, the only place it, it, it's riveted on, on, onto, onto the main spar is by, is by these angles. Yeah. Go there. They, 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 they hold the, 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 yeah, no, the, the say, leading edge ribs. Yeah, the leading and, edge ones, yeah. And, and, and the, 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 the interspar ribs. Yeah. The width here, the, 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 the block further than that, is about, if, if, if you imagine, from, from, from there, it, it's here. Yeah. Basically, the, the, the width of, 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 of rib 22. So if you're, if you're reaching through like that, getting to there, you're, you're up to here and you're only just reaching the other side. Mm -hmm. And, and you, can, you can't rivet like that. No. no. You, you, can't, you can't hold the riveting block. Mm. So if, if, if it's in like this, we can, we can have it all riveted and then we can stick the whole leading edge on, on the spar. 
and attach it to the spar and then the whole thing lift it up to the wing, yeah. It's the only way you can do it. Very interesting. We're discovering stuff yeah. all the way through this process. Yeah. This is good job you've got this. Otherwise it the good job you've got the wing to do first, this yeah. French wing. Otherwise it could have been a good couple of years before you once oh, you yeah. take it off, get yeah. the other one sorted. Yeah, we have, we have had a problem with, with, with that. But because the wing was mishandled when it was, well, recovered basically, yeah. it, 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 it had been dropped. Mm. And some of the, the, the ribs on, 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 on the bottom had been sort of squashed up a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Like that. But it, 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 it had affected the position. Of, 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 of the lower spar. Yeah. So mm. when we come to stick it back into that jig, the holes weren't quite long enough. Where the far out? The hole out, were they? Well, the, the, some we couldn't see. Oh. Yeah. Far as that? Some, some, some were sort of like a, a, a third of a hole out and half a hole out. Quite a distance. We, we relaxed it all, now we put it all, all together, it's in its right, rightful place and yeah. putting it on. Yeah. So when we come to do the starboard wing, which we, we know it's bent, yeah, <laughs> it's yeah. Uh, it, it's going to be a bit of a yeah. bit of a problem. Well, Keith has gone as far as he can assembling the rear spar, so it's time to fit it into the jig. It's like laying the keel of a ship. The rest of the parts will be built up from the rear spar. Is it gone in? Put it in the jig. <laughs> Morning, Dennis. Morning, Abby. You all right, mate? Yes, thank you. You've done a good job here. You've got a lot of the ribs off. Yeah, some of them are going to be quite difficult. Bolts coming through the heads underneath. Yeah. When you try to get your ratchet or spanner on them, they're just rounding off. Because mm. you need that much force yeah. to try and crack it. Yeah. I've had uh, two or three, the heads just sheared off. Yes. Underneath yeah. this angle, it's been yeah. riveted down. And then you've got these um, packers either side. So I've got to take each yeah. one out and put yeah. it with the appropriate leg on the rib so when it goes back you know that that packer fitted that that position yeah yeah well we will get there in the end yeah every these ribs where do is it a complete unit that rib yeah
Just got that bolt, have you? Yeah, it's where the head come off the bolt. Yeah. The That's the only thing what's holding it there now, is it? Yeah, well, it, yeah, it's, the yeah. bolt's probably corroded in there. You like this side where the bolt down, yeah. that would then lift away. Would you have to that. drill those out? I don't want to, to drill those out. No. no. All I've got to do is just crack it up. Yeah. A chisel underneath yeah, there or something. Wedge, like wedge yeah. yeah. A fox wedge or what? A screwdriver. Yeah. <laughs> Do you think it'll pull, pull through the hole then, the bolt? Hopefully, yeah. And that's so the, the head offending of that bolt. bolt. Shared, yeah. And that stood. Yeah. It's corroded into there, but we can work on that on the bench now. Yeah. Now I managed to lift it off, split it What do you do? Put a wedge underneath it. You yeah. said you were going to do. Stop that thing waggling. Yeah. All good? Right. Good, thank you. You're welcome. Phil's well on the way to dry fitting the fuselage door frame, along with the steel door set and surrounding doorway support frames. 